Hello dear all, I am Santosh Wal and welcome to channel Learn Easily by Sandhya In the series of these videos, you will see different type of questions which are very useful for scholarship examination. So, let's start our video. Now see this question. Which number will replace question mark in the following figure? This figure is given. There are some numbers and there is one question mark. We have to find the number which will replace this question mark. Means what is the meaning of this? Means we have to find the relation between these opposite numbers with respect to this center number. And if we find the relation, that relation will be applicable for the same. And using this relation, we will replace this question mark. So this is the question for this today's video. But before saying the solution of this question, let's see the solution of the practice question which I have given in the last video. See, this was the practice question given in the last video. Question was, which number will replace the question mark in the following figure? The circle is given, some uh, digits are there and there is one question mark. We have to replace this question mark with proper number. Means, it is very clear, we have to find the relation between opposite numbers. That relation will be applicable for this. Which are the opposite numbers? First number is 4, 4 and 20. Then, next one is 3 and 12. Last one is 2 and this question mark. So, the relation which these two numbers have is the same for this number. I mean this relation must be common. If we see, we clearly see that if we divide 20 by 4, we get 5. If we divide 12 by 3, we get 4. Means what this number is, this number is next to this. Next to 3. 5 is next to 4. In other way, in other way, what we can say that is, if we multiply this 4 number with next immediate next number 5, that is 4 into 5, we get the opposite number 20. Similarly, this number is 3. If we multiply the next immediate number of 3, that is 4, we get 12. And here is 12. Similarly, this relation is applicable for this also. Number is 2. Multiply the next immediate number 3. We must get this number 6. So, 6 is our answer. Our answer is number 6. Number 6 will replace question mark. So, it is very easy that we have to just find the relation. And if we practice more and more, we get idea very clearly and very fastly we can solve such type of questions. So now let's see our original question. So this is today's question. Here we have to replace this question mark. Means again we have to find the some relation between the opposite numbers with respect to this 100. So which are the opposite numbers? 18 and 30. 18 and 32. Then next is 23 and 27. And this is 20 and this question mark. So the relation which is applicable for this 2 must be applicable for this 20. So relation must be same for first two numbers. So what is the relation? If we take if we take the addition of these two numbers 18 plus 32 we get 50. If we take the addition 23 plus 27 we get 50. If we multiply this 50 by 2 we get 100 which is central number. So if we multiply this 50 by 2 we get this central number. Are you getting? So what is the relation? Just take addition of these two numbers and multiply the addition by 2 we get this central number. So we have the central number. Are you getting? We have the central number 100. If we divide this central number by 2 we get 50 and this 50 must be addition of these two numbers in the reverse way. Are you getting? So our num first number is 20. So 50 minus 20 we get 30. So 30 will be our answer because if we add 20 
with this 30 number we get 50 and 50 into 2 is 100 so this relation is by this relation we get the number 30 so our answer is answer is number 30 number 30 will replace question mark are you getting so very easy this type of questions just you have to concentrate and find out the some relation there is always some relation and that relation is also very simple but you have to make very clear that your task that these th these three numbers will have a some rhythm so in the similar way i will give a practice question for you for your own write your answer in the comment section and as usual i will give the detailed explanation of the answer in the next video so let's see the practice question for you so this is the practice question for you in this figure there is question mark and other are the numbers we have to find the number which will replace this question mark similarly in the same way you have to find the some relation between the opposite numbers and the central number you will get the answer so write your answer in comment section i will explain the answer in the next video this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you